hello everyone welcome back to the tarot tips and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix high on life is having crashing or it is not launching freezing and stuttering black screen low fps drop and many other issues and how you can fix yourself so let me directly get into this without wasting any time so if you are for the first time don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more these kind of videos also i'll be providing few things in the description where you can watch over here which i'll be uh, providing this so you need some links so i'll take from already uploaded video so if you refer to this you'll be getting the links Cold water heaters. so sorry for that so we have we should be updating to few things like you know graphics card and all these things so i'll explain that you don't have to worry so let me directly get into this step so uh the first one is all about you have to restart your pc and that is what you have to do imagine uh sometimes a simple restart fix a lot of issue so all you have to do is just have to go over here in the start click over here go to this icon go for restart after restarting try to play the game sometimes it might be working i'm not saying it's going to work but it might be working moving to the next one is all about you have to allow the game to windows security for that you just have to Go to the search over here, search for control panel like this. Now open this. From here, navigate to Windows Defender Firewall. Now from here, click on allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Now from here, as you can see, you have to scroll down and see whether it is already added. By default, it will not be added, so we have to add it. So for that, you just have to do this. You just have to click on, if you wanted to add, just click over here on allow another app. Now from here click on browse. Now what you have to just have to go to where the game is installed. Here in my case the game is only installed on local disk C. But if it's on D, E, F etc it might be if the game is installed in D, E, F etc you have to select the appropriate one. But by default in the steam all the game used to get installed on C so you don't have to worry. Open your steam local disk C. Now go to program files x86. Scroll down and navigate to steam. Now from here scroll down and navigate to steam apps, select common, now from here go to high on life. Now from here as you can see this is the application so you just have to select this, go for open. Once it is done you just have to click on add. So as you can see this is already added so that is why I am having the error. So right now the next step is you just have to scroll down and see whether it is already added. So here on high on life is already added and here it is very important to mention or make sure that both these things should be checked that is for the private public both these things should be checked and this is what you have to do moving to the next one is all about you have to install graphics card manually that's what i told you in the beginning of video i'll be providing few links in the description and they are for the nvidia and the amd because most of the users has to be in this so for the nvidia users when you get a link like this just click on drivers now from here you just have to do is just have to select the product type product series product operating system download type then you just have to go for language so here you have to select the product type as you can see we are having many things so we select the appropriate one go for geoforce rtx 40 series select the respective one from here Moon to next one is all about nvidia geoforce rtx select the appropriate one operating system should be windows 11 you have to select the operating system now you just have to go for start search now from here the version is 527.5 which is the latest version and the release date is 12 8 2022 that means it is newly released one on december 8 12 2022 so just download this so this is around 830.49 mb download and install this .exe simultaneously if you are on the amd you have to go over here select the graphics select the respective model from here select everything properly and go for submit once you're done with this you'll be getting two options like windows 11 and windows 10 select windows 11 if you're on windows 11 select windows 10 if you're on windows 10 download and install it after installing the graphics card manually you have to try and most probably by updating the graphics card many issue has to be fixed in the past so you have to do the same And moving to the next one is all about you have to run the game on dedicated graphics card. For that you just have to go over here in the search, 
go over here on graphic setting or you can search for graphic setting so here i have already searched so select the graphic setting now from here as you can see here i have already added many games simultaneously you will be able to see so just click on browse from here now from here navigate to the installer folder so select local disk c now from here go to program file x86 scroll down and navigate to steam over here now go to steam apps now click on common now from here you just have to scroll down and navigate to high on life now select this one and add it over here as you can see this is successfully added so you just have to click on options and change this to high performance and go for save once it is done saving try to launch the game and this has worked for many of the users moving to the next one is all about you have to do is just have to run the game as an administrator for that you just have to go to the file where the game is installed so this is where you can navigate to from steam itself you just have to click on right click over here go to properties now go to local file click on browse so that you would re re very redirectedly taken to where the game is installed now from here select the respective one select it go for show more options go to properties go to compatibility now from here you just have to do is just have to click on run this program as an administrator go for apply and launch the game and you can see simultaneously instead of playing the game on uh, steam i mean launching the game from the steam you can also try launching the game from this particular folder so you just have to launch the game from here itself so because when you launch the game on installation folder this particular thing has worked for many users so this is what you have to do moving to an, this is also worked for many users so should not be neglecting this moving to the next one is all about you have to install microsoft visual c plus plus so that before that you should be knowing which one is your pc actually for that you just have to go over here go to settings and you have to go to windows system scroll down and go to about from here it is very visible that my particular laptop which i am showing you the demonstration is 64 bit operating system so i just have to go over here i have to go to google and search for microsoft visual c plus plus so here very recently i searched this now from here i'll be providing this link so you have to download for 64 that is the reason why i navigated and show you which one is your pc's configuration actually you have to do the same if you are on 86 i mean x86 download this one if you're on x64 download this one after downloading this restart your pc then launch the game once again and most probably that will be working good and this has helped many users so you should not be neglecting this Moving to the next one is all about you have to disable steam overlay and overclocking applications. For that as you can see discord is one of the main reason this is for disable uh, for over overclocking applications and antivirus and many things. So you just have to do is just go to the task manager over here and go to task manager and it is very vitally visible that as you can see some of the apps which is right now I am using is this one. But just 79 apps are running in my background which is affecting my performance especially the discord and all those things. So here as what you have to do is you have to end the task like uh, gaming service discord everything should be end the task you can do that one by one because this is going to help you guys out but for me it is not an issue by because i'm having 32 gb of ram but for users who are trying to play the game with 2 gb 4 gb they might be having a nightmare so just uh, remove everything from here end the task then try to launch the game and also make sure uh, you have to disable the steam overlay for that just go over here on the game go to properties go to over here on local files sorry over here in the uh sorry you have to go over here so, uh, you just have to select the game go to properties now from here under general you have to make sure this is unchecked and this is very important it should not be checked make sure this is unchecked and this is also a step moving to the next one is all about you have to perform a clean boot for that just go over here in the search and search for system configuration now from here go to services and make sure that hide all microsoft services is being selected and go for disable all and go for ok then try to launch the game when you do this you'll be getting a restart option restart your pc then try to play the game moving to the next one is all about you have to verify integrity of game file which is an effective method which you can try out for that just go to the steam right click over here and go to properties click on local files click on verify integrity of game file so this is going to take a bit of time because a verify integrity of game file fixes a lot of issue regarding if any files are corrupted if any files are missed all these kind of issues are fixed by this end and this is going to help you guys out and this is actually going to help you guys out 
so you have to try this and i think many of you guys knew this but so there is no need of an explanation moving to the next one let this get complete next one is all about you have to update windows for that just go over here go to settings now from here over here go to windows update on bottom left now from here update the windows updating the windows is actually going to work because it is quite important as well when you are running a game like this you should be up to date in the windows so just update the windows and once after updating the windows try to launch the game and if you are getting an error on updating you are not able to update the windows you can do this by uh, windows 11 insta installation assistant which i will be providing in the link you can do, do with that so you can try that also moving to the next one and the last and the least two step is very important when you are trying to launch the game you have to disconnect everything for example if you are connected with the multi mo uh, multiple monitors and you are trying to play the game with joystick what you have to do is eject everything from the usb port and make sure everything is completely uh, no, no things are connected over there once everything is unchecked i mean uh, everything is ejected try to launch the game from the steam after launching the game connect to the if you try if you wanted to play the game with controller then connect it back then most probably that will be working and this is what you have to do this is very important as well and moving to the last and the least step is all about uh this is all about uninstall and reinstall the game so what you have to do is just have to go over here on the game select it go over here go to manage now from here go for uninstall after uninstalling the game you have to reinstall it back and it is very important as well to keep in mind when you are reinstalling back it should not be on the same drive which is already done for example as you can see i am having only one but in a case you might be having different local disk so you are already uninstall the game from c then you're trying to reinstall in back it should not be on c try installing on local disk e f d etc parallelly and these are the possible workarounds which you have to try out when you're having an issue with hell on life which is very recently released on steam and it is having an extremely positive reviews so also i'll be providing link in the description to our website get troy tips and also you can refer our website gaming book where, where you can get all these kind of details and i hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notifications see you soon in the next video peace out bye 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 bye